Hi, I'm Lainey Yaris, Deputy Editor for the Journal of Graduate Medical Education, and I'm excited to be here today with Dr. Stacy Casuto, who's the lead author for our December 2017 featured author video. Her study, Google Glass Video Capture of Cardiopulmonary Resuscitation Events, a pilot simulation study, looked at using Google Glass to capture resident performance during simulated scenarios of resuscitations. Dr. Casuto, it's so nice to have you. Can you tell me a little bit about um, what got you excited about this topic? Sure. Um, first, I wanted to thank you so much for inviting me to discuss our research with you today. So one of the most dramatic experience I think a resident can have can be leading an in-hospital code. As a resident, I often wish that I had had more formal feedback on my leadership and clinical decision making during these events. We know that codes are stressful, they're chaotic, and having to try after the event to remember everything that happened um, is really a challenge. Um, we know that resuscitation experts aren't always immediately available to directly observe resident performance during these events. And all of these challenges can really limit the ability for house staff to get the needed feedback on their clinical care and their communication skills that are so critical during these um, crucial moments in patient care. Um, and so knowing all of this, I really wanted to figure out a way to overcome these challenges in house staff education so that we could give our trainees more robust post-arrest feedback. Um, and the idea to video record resuscitation it isn't novel. Um, our surgical colleagues have been doing this in trauma resuscitation since the 1980s. But our ability to do this on the inpatient wards has really been limited due to the unpredictable location and access to fixed video cameras throughout the hospital. So to solve this problem, we really looked to this new technology. We looked to Google Glass um, to see if we could apply it um, and its ability to video record in this space. Yeah, what a great idea. Um, of all of your findings, which do you think have the greatest implications for trainees or program directors? So what we found in this study is that Google Glass um, was feasible and acceptable um, to trainees. Um, it was a feasible way to capture the salient events of a cardiac resuscitation. Um, and in, in many cases, it was actually the superior type of device um, that was used in our study compared to, a, for example, a stationary video, or camera, video camera. And given this, regardless of whether a code happens at 2 p.m. or 2 a.m., whether or not you have an attending who's present, who's engaged in teaching and is able to carefully observe um, what was going on during that resuscitation, this technology really offers the ability for trainees to see themselves in action, for them to get directed feedback from experts um, on their clinical reasoning on their clinical reasoning, and importantly, on their interprofessional communication skills in a controlled setting. And we really felt that this would give an opportunity to enhance and reshape the way that post-event debriefing is done, um, and hopefully would lead to improved trainee education and importantly, improvements in patient care. What a powerful opportunity for teaching and assessment. What do you think is next in this program of research? So now that we have shown that Google Glass can capture these important events of resuscitation in simulation, we really need to understand its feasibility, its acceptability, and the ability for it to be um, implemented into real clinical care. Um, and then importantly, we also really need to further explore the impact of video review on trainee education. Does this build trainee resiliency? Is it possible to change the culture of education to incorporate this robust video review and feedback? And can we impact upon those so important objective clinical performance and patient outcomes with this technology? And although all of these are unanswered questions that we need to further explore, I really believe that this technology will has the ability to improve trainee education, give them the ability to watch themselves in action, receive that so needed directed feedback on their performance and um, and leadership skills during these critical times of peak stress when patients are their most vulnerable. Those are such rich questions. Well, thank you so much. We look forward to hearing more from your group and thanks for being here with us today. Thank you very much.